hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are in mandeville we are giving you an update on the construction of the avista at bloomfield and there you can see the apartments it's a six-story building and that's as high as they're going the roof is on they're actually pretty far along i must say i think we were here about two weeks ago and you can see a big difference they're moving very, very quickly. All right, just to give you an idea of where we are, that's Mega Mart to the left. That building you're looking at to the left is Mega Mart. And then that's the Avista being built straight ahead. We are on Glenville Avenue in, in Mandeville. And these apartments look like they'll be finished this year. Okay, so they are building 78 units. It's um, 78 residential units. You're going to have 40 studios, 21 bedrooms, and 18 two bedrooms. And this project is done by Proven. And they actually have quite a few real estate projects that they have on the way or that they have completed already. The Via at the Bremer in Kingston was done by Proven. That one is finished. That building is 10 floors. This one we're looking at is six floors. And they have two massive projects going on in Ocho Rios. Um, what's the name of it? SOL Harbor. That is their project. And there is another one. Not sure if it's the Azul, but they have two projects going on in 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 Ocherios. But the big one is SOL Harbor Ocherios. That's 156 residential units, and they are luxury apartments. And there is a second one, but the name just slipped me right now. So if anybody remembers, you can. Leave a comment in the section below. All right, so as you can see, this building should be finished this year. And this, this project is supposed to be, in addition to building the residential units, they're going to have retail, they're going to have like a commercial plaza. They're going to have retail shops, coffee restaurants, a courtyard space, and then they're going to have um office units so this is uh, a large building now one of the reasons why this building went up in mandeville is because of the highway that's coming you can when that highway is finished you can get from kingston to mandeville in 45 minutes on the highway so that is a game changer so you're going to have a lot more um, business opportunities basically in Mandeville. And Mandeville is actually getting ready for the anticipated influx of people because 45 minutes to Mandeville on highway quality road, it's a game changer. And that highway is the highway 2000 East West leg. That highway actually runs from Kingston to Montego Bay, but they're building it out in phases. So the Kingston to Maypen leg is finished, and then the Maypen to Mandeville leg is under construction, and it's going to finish in August 2023. So we're just giving you an idea of what's around the building. This is what they call Bloomfield Park, and the vista at the Bloomfield is a part of it. And Mandeville is actually um, doing a lot of upgrades to their roads so that they, you don't have a lot of traffic congestion in the town. But to get to this building, you don't have to drive through Mandeville. You can if you want, but there is a 
second roundabout that takes you directly to this building so you don't have to contend with the traffic going through Mandeville if you don't want to. And also another massive project that's going on in Mandeville is the Sovereign Mandeville. That's a plaza that's been built. It should be open this year also. And I think this building will be open this year. I'm not sure if it's sold out or what's going on with it. If anybody knows, you can leave the comments in the section below. But it's moving along very nicely. The Via at the Bremer, which is company also built in Kingston, was sold out and that one is opened. So there you can get a, a zoomed in view. Very nice building, I must say. And Sovereign Mandeville is going to open before August. Some stores are open now, but the actual plaza will open before August because all of this work is being done in anticipation of the highway opening up in August. Now, I'm not sure if this building straight ahead, I don't think it's a part of the Avista construction. Because there is a zinc fence separating both sides. Some persons have commented saying that this building on a construction here that we're looking at is a part of the Avista, but I don't think it is because you can see the zinc fence there. I was looking for somebody to ask them, but I didn't see anyone. And this, the contractor for this building is a Chinese company. But if it was one construction site, they wouldn't have that zinc fence there. So I think this is a different building that we're looking at here. Construction of a different building. Where you see the, the green thing around the building. All right, guys. So as you know, we give you updates on these major projects every two weeks. So remember to like share and subscribe also turn on the notification bell and we'll give you an update in two weeks there you can see um, bloomfield park and what the building is going to look like when it's finished i'm almost sure that that lower building with a green top hauling around it is not a part of the avista although some person two subscribers mentioned that it was but I'm not sure. I'll confirm it for the next video, but I don't think it is. All right, guys. Thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.